welcome to Best Trends TV Show Season 6, Dapped Forward Thinkers. My name is Enyonam. This program is on social media platform Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Share your thoughts, send us your questions, and of course, we'll attend to them. And make sure you are satisfied with every episode you watch this and every weekend. This program is proudly brought to you by Vanguard Assurance. We always stand by you. When it comes to your motor, your traveling, your property, just go to Vanguard Assurance and they will be taking good care of you. In terms of claims payments, they are the number one. Of course, leave tomato paste. If you're preparing all your dishes this New Year season, do not make a mistake not buying leave tomato paste because it is very healthy. It contains a lot of vitamins and fiber that is good for your meal. Of course, NPRA is reminding all of you that, hey, you'll be going on retirement no matter what so you need to start contributing so that during your retirement age you have a stress-free life so remember to contribute your pensions now novelty innovations will be streaming live every episode you watch so if you miss it on tv don't be worried just look for best trends tv show and watch it or go on our youtube channel best trends tv show ghana and of course you get to watch each and every episode you watch this and every weekend many thanks to city high pages for the screen we have here and horizons offices right here in one airport square thank you for allowing us record here if you're a business owner you're looking for a place to record just come to one airport square meet the center manager for horizons offices and he will take good care of you today we are focusing our attention on investment how to be able to identify high and low risk investment product of course when you are walking to the bank you have some money or you want to start as a young person from age 20 30 whatever age you are you can start contributing now it would help you in the near future and i cannot get a better person to help me do this conversation or do this interview uh than mr kojo adai mensa he is the chief executive officer for data bank one of the premier investment banks we have right here in Ghana. So you understand what I'm talking about. He's right here in my studios. Let's go for a quick, a quick commercial break. When I come back, I'll engage him in an interactive interview. I'll be right back. Stick and stay. Oh, 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 oh. And you know, my claim is not covered by the insurance policy I arranged. Parkwesi, I've always advised you to let J and J Insurance Brokers, the insurance professional, handle your insurance to avoid gaps. At J and J, we analyze your insurance needs, we arrange cover with the best insurer with a track record of prompt claims payment, and above all, we facilitate and negotiate your claims. Call Dr. Gideon Amenedo, the CEO, on 0244-333335 or 0504-333335. You can also email him, Gideon, at jnginsurancebrokers.com or visit our website, jnginsurancebrokers.com. Thank you very much, Egenam. I'm calling doctor right away. At JNG Insurance Brokers, Negotiating a great insurance deal is our business. Hmm. What is Tomato paste when I would eat it. I don't want to leave tomato paste in Ghana. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. This is what I call a Diane. <laughs> Secret Nani L E A P Leap. Some woman is a leap tomato paste, the Diane. It was superb and palatable taste. Now, as you will be were large and small sizes for chop bars, restaurants, and a few. For bulk purchase, contact 033-2095314 or 050-141085. Welcome 
back from that quick break. It's still Best Trends TV show. Thank you so much, Mr. Mensah. It's a pleasure. For joining and us. And an honor. <laughs> it's really a pleasure. I am honor. honored to have you no, here. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's always an honor to be in front of Ghana. I just couldn't take you off my mind after the day I encountered you yeah. on UPSA. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I told myself, there's no way I'm going to shoot Best Trends <laughs> Season 6 without not having this me. man to throw more light on investment. Because you caught my attention. Yeah. I'm not doing one yet, and I think I have to start. But what I heard you do... i <laughs> You but know, what I you heard know, you pe say. People think about retirement and think, oh, it's for the old people. It's mm. long ago. Mm. It's, it's, it's far ahead. But, you know, it's a very, very immediate thing. Right. The, the moment you start working, you mm -hmm. start preparing to retire. Right. Because you, you are 30 years old. Mm. You've mm -hmm. started working. Mm. In 30 years' time, mm -hmm. it's gone. Okay. And 30 years comes like that right. in a flash. Right. And, you know, it's not even in my time at, mm -hmm. at, at Data Bank, but mm. I, I, as you know, I, I've worked, you know, Standard Chartered, Barclays, GCB. And when I was at GCB, you, you meet people who have worked for 40 years, 50 years. And they haven't done any investment they've done practice nothing. for themselves. They've done nothing. Don't worry, I'll come to you, that. You, you can't, <laughs> you, you have to start now. Right. In your mm. Now you are, you are sexy, you are hippie, mm. you are cool. Mm. It's not going to last. Forever. Yeah, very it's soon true. you have wrinkles, it's nobody's true. going to look at you right. twice. Mm. You better prepare okay. for the wrinkle time. Right. So let, let's delve into our main, <laughs> <laughs> our main issue here. Yeah. The financial sector has been going through a lot of technical sure. by, um, with this cleanup from different regulators. Yeah. Um, what would you say in your view, how has it impacted positively or negatively on the investment sector? I think it's both ways. Mm. I think it's both ways. Mm -hmm. um, let me start with the negative. Okay. And... In the past, I've, I've been to fora, I've had interviews that people have misinterpreted us. Mm -hmm. But the negative side is, is, look, let's say you invested in company A, company B, company right. C, right? right? And unfortunately, mm -hmm. for some reason or the other, that company's license has been revoked. revoked. Okay. But it, it got revoked in August. Mm -hmm. In September, you need to pay school fees. Right. You need to pay bills. You need... So, as a prudent investor, you've divested. So, you've invested in three, four, five companies, including us at right. Data Bank. If you can't get your, comp your money out of company A, definitely, you're going to get your money out of company B that still exists. So, to that extent, mm -hmm. it has affected us negatively. Okay. You know, to that extent, because you need to pay the school fees. And company B, which is company D, right. let me say, company mm -hmm. data bank, mm -hmm. still exists, still standing. Your money is there. You come for it. So we'll give it to you. So to that extent, it has affected us quite negatively. But the positive of it is that people are now reading. People are asking relevant questions. And people are realizing that this company called data bank, right. standing tall, not because of politics, but because of good governance, because of good structures, because we do what is right by law. And that is where the positivity comes from. Right. So it's affected us both positively and both negatively. Okay. Because people have come for their money. Right. People can't bring their money to us anymore because their monies are locked up elsewhere. So they, are, they don't have confidence. Mm -hmm. They are skeptical. Mm -hmm. And it's understandable. Right. But hey, I tell my people, pay them the money, talk to them, explain to them, show them what it is we do, mm -hmm. and the confidence will come they back. They keep rising. Yeah, it will come right. back. For an ordinary investor, can you explain investment options available in banks? Yeah, you know, the, the, the options are available, mm. but it depends on your risk appetite. Okay. You no, know, so the cliche goes that high risk, high return, low risk, low return. But people going for high risk, high return, forgetting that when the risk crystallizes, you lose. And when they lose, they are in April. Why are you in April? You took a high risk, expecting a high return, hmm. and the return didn't come. Okay. You have to take it on the chin. Low risk, low return. Hmm. It is likely that you will not get a high return, okay. but you will get your money back. Hmm. So today, the GO government of Ghana's basic risk-free what we say the risk-free even though government has risk but we say risk-free mm -hmm. today is at 14 percent mm. somebody will come and tell you that oh the 14 percent you know what the people they are lying to you i can give you 25 percent that's a 10 percentage gap okay you have to start asking questions 
what ah, are you doing with my money right. that can give me that 25 percent right. they'll tell you oh we are not hiring this posh place okay. at one airport place okay. that is giving us you know all the perks and, this, and all the, yeah luxury right. and also because we're in some ghetto okay. we can transfer all the return to right. you it may it's not, not true. May, it, no i didn't say it may not necessarily be true okay but because you want the return, mm. you've taken the risk. Right. But if you take the risk, mm -hmm. you'll be prepared mm. for the loss. Okay. But if you take a low risk, right. low return, 14%, mm -hmm. right. steady. Okay. Don't be greedy. Okay. Maybe I'm saying what I should have been saying at the end of the program, right. but don't be greedy. Okay. People are greedy. Right. People are in a hurry. Mm. You know, people okay. are in a hurry. Right. So you should not be in a hurry to make the return. Okay. You should take your time. Right. It takes time. 10, 15, 20 years. Okay. That's why you should start at age 23. Right. I'm going for a break. When I come back, I would let sure. you explain to me what makes some of the investment low risk and high risk. And sure. how do I even know that this is the best option for Very me? Good question. Viewers, you are still watching Best Trends TV show. My name is Enyunam. Today, I'm hanging out with good. Mr. Kojo Adai Mensah. He is a group executive, uh, chief executive CEO for one of the premier investment banks right here in Ghana, Data Bank. Let's go for this quick break. When we come back, he will be able to tell me and you which of those investment packages is high risk or low risk and which one you should go for when you are in the bank to take those policies. Stay and stay. I'll be right back. Oh, 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 oh. And you know, my claim is not covered by the insurance policy I arranged. Parkwaysi, I've always advised you to let J&G Insurance Brokers, the insurance professional, handle your insurance to avoid gaps. At J&G, we analyze your insurance needs, we arrange cover with the best insurer with a track record of prompt claims payment, and above all, we facilitate and negotiate your claims. Call Dr. Gideon Amenedo, the CEO, on 0244-333335 or 0504-333335. You can also email him, Gideon, at jnginsurancebrokers.com or visit our website, jnginsurancebrokers.com. Thank you very much, Egenam. I'm calling doctor right away. At J and J Insurance Brokers, negotiating a great insurance deal is our business. What is tomato paste? Ben, I want to eat I don't want to leave tomato paste in Ghana. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. This is what I call a journey. <laughs> Secret nani L E A P leap. Some woman is a leap tomato paste a journey there. It was superb and palatable taste. Na a small beer also. There were large and small sizes for chop bars, restaurants, and a few For bulk purchase, contact 033-2095314 or 050-141085. From that quick commercial break it's still best trends tv show and we are focusing our attention on investment packages which one is high risk which one is low risk how do i know this is low risk and this is high risk and how do i tell which one is best for me? okay so we we have very very simple basic principles mm -hmm. no uh book long things right. no bourgeois things okay. I, I i i will just break it down okay. all right right so the younger you are the more risk you can take. The older you are, the less risk you can take. So at Data Bank, let's say we have six products. Okay. We have mutual funds and then we have the, tre the right, treasury bills. Right. So of the mutual funds mm -hmm. too, um, the mutual funds are products that everybody is in including. Mutual. We all are contributing. Right. So Enyonam brings 20 CDs 
the cameraman 30 CDs, uh, Pearl 20 CDs, 50 CDs. Everybody is bringing small, 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 small. Mm -hmm. We put it all together and then in, 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 in togetherness, togetherness mm -hmm. we have strength. Right. Then we go and invest. But we have different products. If you are younger, you can take more risk. So we can give you riskier packages mm -hmm. like with stocks. Mm -hmm. So you can go and buy some shares on some stock market either in Ghana, mm -hmm. in Kenya, okay. in Egypt. Right. You know. But the older you get, the less risk you must be taking. Okay. The problem we have is that mm -hmm. a lot of Ghanaians, they wait till they are 55 years. Right. Then they realize that, hey, I'm retirement they draw. <laughs> How do you say it in that way? Please tell, help me, help me. Retirement, yeah. <laughs> and then they are in a hurry okay. to make as much as they can within the shortest possible right. time. Right, but it doesn't work like it that. It doesn't work like that. If you are 23 years old, you can take a riskier package. You can invest in stocks, in longer term, you know, mm -hmm. investment mm -hmm. because you have time. Okay. But once you've crossed 50, that's not your space. Mm. You come into fixed income, you mm. buy bonds, you buy government of Ghana bonds, not okay. corporate bonds, even. Right. government of Ghana bonds, treasury bills. These days, the fixed income market is bubbling. Mm -hmm. You know, government is issuing, you know, a lot of paper. So you can afford to be in that, you know, environment. Mm. But if you are old, please, please, please. Mm. When somebody is promising you 30% and you are greater than 40 years, mm. be very, very careful. careful. When somebody promises you a return, start asking questions. Okay. Any return right. greater than 3% mm. above treasury mm. bill, you should start asking questions. What are some of these questions? You Where is the money going? You know, we don't ask. Okay, you've taken my 50 CDs. Where are you investing the money? Why are you investing it here? Okay. What is the risk involved in investing it here? Mm -hmm. And if the risk materializes, what is the mitigating factor that you are going to put in place? Mm. All we do is mm. we go into the company. Mm. Oh, you, I can give you 30%. Oh, really? Get my money without asking the questions. And if at a place like Data Bank, we are obliged to publish an annual report. People don't want to read. You say, oh, this thing is book long. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this thing is long things. Mm -hmm. and, and you give me my money. Mm -hmm. But read. Mm. Because the law requires us to disclose All where the we are putting the money. Okay. If we don't ask, why don't you also tell us? No, we will tell at, at least I can speak for my company. Okay, you tell. We tell, okay. but not everybody tells. Right. But if somebody is not telling you, mm -hmm. ask. Okay, okay. Question. Right. Ask them that and go to the regulator. I'm sure they know now. No, they, no, no. Go they, to the regulator right. and ask the regulator that I have invested so in so-so and so, and so institution. institution. Right. Where is my money being okay. put? Because right. the reports are mm. there. Mm. But how, you're not asking. How important is it for an individual to start investment early? Oh, the mo you know, the, the day you get your first job. Mm -hmm. In fact, let me backtrack. When I go to the universities, I tell them, you are in the university. Okay. But you are surviving, are you not? Yes. How are you surviving? Somebody is giving you some money, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Somebody is giving you a stipend. Okay. Do you know what the girls do with the stipend? They buy Brazilian hair. Yes. Please. Yeah, yeah, right. Why are you buying Brazilian <laughs> hair at the age of 21? When you can buy all the Brazilian hair you need, when you get a proper gainfully employed job at the age of 32? then you can shake your body. But you want to shake your body in the university? Are you, are you crazy? Look at the guys. Then the guys, they are wearing some something, and they are wearing some something, and they are wearing shirts that they don't need. Please, you, you start investing when you are not even earning. Mm. I always say, I have a saying, mm -hmm. if you can tight, you know, Ghanaians, we claim we are Christians. Mm. We claim we are religious. 90% of our population are Christians. Mm. And we tight, and we believe in tithing. Yes, it's ten percent of your income, yes. right? So if you can tight, why can't you invest? If you can tight, you can invest. All I ask for is ten percent of whatever you earn to invest, but invest in the right place mm. and at the right time. Mm. 
why are you waiting? You think you have to be a millionaire right. before you invest. You don't have to. You did talk about in, uh, tertiary student who yeah. you always tell them All that's the, the time. appropriate time. Yeah. Now, one would ask you, what is the average amount ten can cities. a university... Ten cities. Ten Ghana cities. Ten Ghana cities. <laughs> no, don't laugh about it. Ten I'm not cities. Kidding. I'm telling you, it's ten cities. Look, if I was doing ten cities... You, you know, when I went... I went to first year in 1991. That's when I went to first mm -hmm. year. You know, so people may think I'm so younger than... First year, 1991. Imagine I was investing ten cities every month mm. in 1991. Mm. Even without interest. How much would I have, uh, have accumulated by now? Money. I'll be a millionaire. I'll oh, okay. have retired. Okay. I won't be working and now, you know, selling it. I would have retired. Mm. I'll be right back. Welcome to Kwame Showbiz Boutique. We are located at Achimota Neoplan adjacent the Malcolm. For all kinds of events, weddings, award ceremonies, parties, engagements, just walk to our boutique. We have all kinds of clothes, very quality but affordable. We work from Monday to Saturday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can also call us on the number displayed on your screen. Follow us on all social media platforms Kwame Showbiz Boutique. Kwame Showbiz Boutique, West African best kept secret, including. Before I went on break, the level of um, Ghanaian's mindset or knowledge or idea on investment you agree with me is very low yeah it's very low I agree. but I then agree. whose responsibility it is to enlighten us both the informal and formal sector about investment the responsibility lies with us the industry players okay. and the regulator but it is cost and it's a sunken cost right. and people think that it doesn't you know bring me money to my bottom line so why should i do it but it is up to all of us to do it. And mm. I'm telling my competitors mm -hmm. today. Right. I'm looking in your cameras and telling my competitors today mm -hmm. that shame on you. Mm. Shame on you if you think that educating the Ghanaian public is because it's just cost. Right. So you won't do it yes. and you will just take their money. How can you just take their money to invest it without taking up the responsibility mm -hmm. of educating them? So at Data Bank, last, for the last two, three years, Every year, I go on a tour around the country. And thank you, SNET. I go on this tour with SNET on a retirement plan, showing them how to invest, mm -hmm. what not to invest, mm -hmm. how to invest. It is cost to me. It doesn't bring me immediate returns to my bottom line. But I feel as the leaders of the investment banking industry, it's we your need, responsibility. We need to invest right. and in invest in it and educate mm -hmm. the Ghanaians. So it is both us, the players, mm -hmm. and the regulators. It is our responsibility. So uh, and next do, do year, I we'll say maybe you are leaving that to the regulator? No, some people are leaving it okay. to the regulator. But at Data Bank, we haven't left it to the regulator. Okay. Yesterday, I just came from Kumasi okay. last night. Right. Tamale. Mm. Name it. Okay. It is up to So you're to doing us. a lot. And I'm here. Right. Right here with you, Enyo. Right. Why am I here with you, Enyo? The it's public needs somewhere this else. education. It's just because right. of education. Mm. That's why I'm here with right. you. There are a lot of people who are looking forward to going into this investment industry yeah. to work with. What should be the cut off point? What should be the qualifications oh, we oh, are looking oh, okay, at? Okay, okay. So um, currently, mm -hmm. currently, mm. and I and I uh, look, I'm not an HR mm -hmm. head, but I get more CVs mm. than probably my head mm -hmm. of HR. Mm. But currently, the requirements right. are that you have mm. to pass mm -hmm. the Ghana Stock Exchange course. Okay. So there's a course at the Ghana Stock Exchange that you have to go and take mm -hmm. and pass. Mm. Irrespective of whether you have ACCA, CFA, CA, mm. uh, MBA, CCQ, QQR, right. SST, mm. whatever letters you have, mm -hmm. you still have to go and pass the Ghana Stock Exchange. But we are evolving mm. and we have partnered with the CC, Chartered, Chartered Institute of Securities Industry, so in okay. the UK. Right. We've 
partnered with them and created the GISI, which is the Ghana Institute of Securities, blah, 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 which we are going to re to the whole you know professionalism mm -hmm. thing and then you know bring it together and together with the GSE right. work with it but okay. you, today dear, you have to go through that you course have to go through that course right. to get the certification okay. luckily for some of us when we we came in mm. I mean I had like 15 years mm. experience mm. in the industry mm. Um, mm. With, with, with an MBA with economics mm. so I got a few waivers and then we, we, we got the, we right. the certificate. Um, for 24 years, Data Bank was run by the owners before yeah, you took yeah, yeah, over. Yeah. How easy or difficult was that for it you to come this far? Extremely difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I to see. walk in the shoes of the current finance right. minister was no joke. Okay. You know, people bring the politics mm -hmm. in, but mm -hmm. let's, let's put the politics aside. Okay. Ken is a phenomenon. Mm. He's an enigma. And to walk into his shoes. Mm -hmm. It means that when I work Let me for see two how big years, their shoe is, though. That's, that's my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> to to right. walk in two... No, I worked for, with them for two years. Okay. It means that they saw something. Right. And I would like to advise mm. young mm. people, mm. when you are working mm -hmm. and you start telling yourself, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the job is not for me, Aye. and is it for my father? And then you will not get this opportunity because okay. I never said that. Right. And probably mm -hmm. because I took the job mm -hmm. as if it was mine, mm -hmm. 14 years mm -hmm. later, they came and handpicked me. Right. Maybe your future mm. is right there. Mm. Stop thinking that mm. you're working for somebody. Mm. Work for yourself. Right. Before we go, yeah. what has been most your greatest passion ever? Excellent. Mm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Look, and mm. I believe in the Ghanaian. Mm. We, 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 we can do it. Mm. Everybody is looking out somewhere. Mm. My, look, I've born, mm -hmm. I'm born, mm. bred, mm. and fully educated mm. in Ghana. Mm. University Primary School, right. Legon. Mm. I did my O-Level, St. Peter's Secondary School, mm -hmm. mm. I did my A-Level, Accra Academy. Right. Uh, it's in Kanishi behind mm. the market. Mm. Yeah. University of Ghana. Mm. Both first degree economics, yeah. second degree finance, right. all in Ghana. Right. I have no Harvard, no Yale, right. no Cornell, no Manchester. You do, Come on, guys. We Congratulations. Can do it. Congratulations. Let's do it. Cheers, to, cheers, 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 cheers to very smoothies. Cheers, You've cheers. done well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you very much. Awesome. 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 Thank you. So, rounding up, yep. this is 2020. Yeah. The business sector is still, you know, experiencing a few phases here and there. Sure, sure. But what will be your message to the business um, sector integrity the, our problem has been in lack of integrity mm. business owners mm. be sincere be truthful mm. be just tell the truth and be humble integrity is what has brought our industry down or the lack of it please let's be truthful let's be sincere and let's tell our people what is right that is what will make our 2020 a good 2020. Why do you want to cut corners? Mm. Why do you want to make a quick buck? This person has sweated and brought his or her 50 CDs. Manage it well. If you can manage the 50 CDs, you can manage the 5 million. If you can manage the 50 CDs, then you can manage the what? 5 million. 5 million. That's what uh, Kojo Adel Mensah, the group CEO for Data Bank, one of the premier investment banks right here in Ghana. That's what he's telling you. If you're able to manage my 50 CDs, of course, if Porsche Agame brings you 5 million, you'd be able to take care of it. Many thanks to Cutted Fashion for my outfit and Diamond Cosmetics for my beautiful makeup. And as for my sponsors, I am nowhere without you. Vanguard Assurance, Lee Tomato Paste, NPRA, Novelty Innovations, j &G. Thank you so much for holding me down all the way till today. This is 2020. And the hashtag is forward thinkers. As an entrepreneur, a businessman or woman, we are thinking forward, trending on the information to help you expand. And that is what Best Trends stand for. This is the home of entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for Thank hanging you. out with Pleasure. me. I Pleasure. really appreciate it. I also appreciate it. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your weekend. I'll be back next week with another phenomenal CEO to share with you what he or she is doing in her line or her area of business. Until then, it's a bye for now. Thank you so much for watching.